Well, after three days of intense competition outside the nation's capital, the Scripps National Spelling Bee reached its finals tonight. National correspondent Stephanie Liebergen has been covering it all for us. Wow, what a photo finish, you could say, Steph. They crowned the champion. Tell us how it went down. Oh my gosh, this is the spelling bee season that started with 11 million spellers around the world and we got down to just one winner, Harini Logan of Texas. The spellers took all the spellers tonight, took their time, more than I've seen them do earlier this week. We saw that red 30 second reminder um, more frequently tonight, but ultimately it came down to a spell off for the very first time. This was a new final way to end the spelling bee. Previously, the bee has used a championship word list. That's how we ended up with eight coaches champions a few years ago. This year, they did a spell off. It was basically a 90 second speed round where the spellers had to try to go through as many words as possible. Uh, Vikram, the runner up this year, he took a little more time in thinking about his words before he was trying to spell them. And then they had to hit a buzzer in between each word. Harini Logan, she sped through them and definitely was just going with her gut. And it certainly paid off because it was that spell off and getting more words correct that ultimately won her the title of the 2022 scripts national spelling bee champion and, and stephanie how long has she been at it uh what, what did she share about how, what it takes you mentioned how many kids this started off with and it came down to one <laughs> what did it take for her to pull this off well, this is Harini's fourth time at the Scripps National Spelling Bee. So she is an old hat when it comes to being on this stage and competing at this level. This is her eighth grade year. This was her final final year of eligibility. So to win, to win in a spell off, it was just super sweet moment for her. She's definitely very excited. She is a very poised and um well thought out young woman. She is certainly going to go far, impressed a lot of people with her spelling bee skills today. And the way that she got to the finale beyond just the spell off, she also had another element of her spelling bee finals tonight that was unique. She originally in round nine, the spellers had to define a meaning of a word. They get three options. They have to pick A, B or C. The answer Harini initially picked, she was told was wrong. She left the stage. The judges came back within a matter of minutes and said, well, the answer she gave actually could be correct. So she got reinstated and was put back into the mix and then managed to continue to compete on to become the winner. So just an amazing road and path that she traveled to the championship tonight, Natalie. Yeah. And, and also, this was the first time that the B has been back in full force since this pandemic. So what was the vibe there throughout this event, Stephanie? Well, there was a ton of excitement all week long. A lot of the B spellers this week were excited to be back in person if they had experienced an in-person B before. But there were other spellers who had maybe only done the virtual B last year. They did do the Scripps National Spelling Bee last year. It was almost entirely virtual. It only became an in-person event when they got down to the final 11 spellers. One of the other finalists tonight from Cincinnati was part of the virtual B last year. And so she was thrilled to be able to finally be on this big stage have all the lights be able to look at Dr. Bailey just a, you know a few feet away giving her those words Dr. Sitsima answering those questions and hearing that bell in person that of course no speller wants to hear that was another interesting element tonight when it came down to the end and it came to Vikram and Harini they kept going back and forth and they missed multiple words in a row both of them but because they both missed they both got to keep going and I think that's part of why the judges ultimately ultimately decided to do this spell off option and to try this new route to try to get themselves down to one winner this year. That's what it took. It was very exciting. We were all watching it in the newsroom right before our newscast. All right, Stephanie, good on you. We really appreciate all your reporting from the National Spelling Bee this week. Thank you. Stephanie Liebergen for us.